I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled Ease. The beloved son of the Twelfth Apostle wrote the following introduction to these Earth Class Notes. The Twelfth Apostle reminds me not to react to people or circumstances, a level I'm still working to obtain. Then the awareness came to mind that that's the way God has always been. Even in the most horrific of circumstances, he never reacts, but he works through the negatives with ease. After asking the 12th apostle the night before, was God ever disappointed with fallen angels or humanity? He kindly said, uh, disappointed would not be the best term. You may say he would have rather those negative choices not have been made. After considering the words in the great verse of God's beloved son saying, my yoke is easy, I decided to change the title of my introduction from God's perspective as I was focusing more upon the mechanics, as I was marveling over the incredible scope and magnitude of this awesome subject, and taking heed to what Jesus told his disciples to marvel not. The obvious choice of a title concerning our Heavenly Father's perspective would be ease. And now, the notes from the Twelfth Apostle. The reason I would not choose to use the word disappointed about God is that it contains the connotation of negative attitudes and actions, which would be a major mistake. Sin, evil, and death were never planned to occur, but goodness, righteousness, and love was. If God were everywhere at the same time omnipresent, as many believe, and also believe there is a burning, literal place of hellfire where all souls who do not believe God will be confined there in pain and terrible torment forever. These people do not know God. Having only believed evil lies about our one great and only real, true, physical, eternal God of love who has one spirit body, that can only be in one place at one time. Jesus was the perfect example of what a male human soul should be. Although he had an advantage over other human descendants of Adam and Eve in that he did not have a fallen instinct in his soul as God was his father. The human instinct, many wrongly call this our human nature, None of the Bible writers specifically understood the truth of this subject, as so very few do today. A nature would be something we are stuck with, so to speak, that we cannot change. Uh, instinct is strong, but it doesn't contain the connotation of the controlled binding that a nature would have over a soul. We can change the influence of our instinct by our own sovereign choice through the two great powers of truth and love that we are all responsible to learn, know, and believe while we are in our very brief classroom here. Jesus learned, understood, and believed all the truth that was available to him at that time, most by the time he was 12 when he began his worldwide ministry for the next 28 years, when he began his travels with his wealthy uncle, Joseph of Arimathea, before he began his ministry in the Jerusalem area, when he was 40 years old, when he was tested by Lucifer for 40 days, as 40 is the legal number for testing. Jesus never reacted to his circumstances or to others, some will say, well, what about when he drove the evil money changers out of the temple in Jerusalem? That was an example of temple cleansing, so to speak, to teach others the importance of cleansing their own soul temple of all evil deception, as that was their responsibility, just as it still is ours today. 
a strong lesson that few understand then or even now. With great ease, may we be one of those that overcome. Until next time.